guys, it's Shelby and Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. Today we are at Amber of the Veil vale House yeah. on Instagram. Yes. And yes. Um, we are going to do a Christmas home tour. So we've toured your house, I think in February? Yeah, January or February. So mm -hmm. right before COVID happened. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is all your everyday home is up on the mm -hmm. blog. And mm -hmm. so now we are going to do your Christmas. Yay! And um, my favorite. Yes. So we were just talking about how everyone's a little late to the Christmas game. Mm -hmm. 2020 has kind of set us back in the yeah. before mm -hmm. decorating, yeah. but yours is done to the. You feel like right. you finished. Right. Minus one room, but okay. that that'll come later. Yeah. You <laughs> gotta follow her on Instagram to see yes. the reveal. How early do you normally decorate for Christmas? So normally I start in October, but this year everything, I don't know, like it was like we had six months where everybody stayed home and hardly did anything. Yeah. And then when we went back to school, it was like full force. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it was like time went so much faster where I think we were like used to a little bit of a slower pace. Yes. And it went faster and then all of a sudden it was like, wait a minute, it's November. We have to get everything yes. up and going. So yeah, we started decorating, what are we now? First week of December, yeah. we started decorating the week before Thanksgiving. Okay. And you say we because your sweet husband helps My husband you. helps with all of the things, all of the time. <laughs> he does, he does. He stays up late and sits while I stare at a room blankly and like brainstorm. And then I say, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. And he's like, all right, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are my marching orders? Yep, right. Okay, so you have your main, is this your main tree? You're like yeah, so this is our main tree. So, fun story, you can see a little hint of like the animal print uh -huh. in there. So like, I always say leopard is my favorite color. Okay. I have a little bit of like animal print everywhere. If you look really hard, you'll see it. Okay. Like you can see it in the little pillow back there, behind the nativity pillow. We've got pillows on our bed, a little bit of everywhere. So like, I love a little bit of leopard. Um, and so I find, I always try to find ways to incorporate it. I love it because it's not too, too much. It's mm -hmm. just enough. Just enough. But yep. the pheasant feathers not poking out, but actually wrapping around like mm -hmm. a garland mm -hmm. is such a cool idea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so next in your living room is your mantle. Yes. My favorite thing is the bells, but... Yeah. Okay, so those are mud pie. I bought those last year or the year before. Um, they had them on like a great clearance. So here's the deal with all of my Christmas decor. I collect. I don't buy anything like all at once and so I kind of collect over the years and when I see something small like that but that has a big impact I will buy several of them yeah. and then sprinkle them throughout so you know you've got the bells here you can see bells over there so they're just like a little bit everywhere yeah. bells are everywhere mm -hmm. yeah I do have bells everywhere I love that love the bells mm -hmm. and your stockings aren't matchy matchy which is nope. great not matchy matchy those are collected from like TJ Maxx and Home Goods yeah. and so I never I never did like the monogram stockings I love them I think they're so beautiful but like I don't know I always felt like we added kids and then like I did it with the first two and then you know, five years later when we had the third one, I couldn't find like the, the matching style, style yeah. to go with it. And so I was like, all right, out with that. We're yeah, going here. So yeah. Nice. Anything else particularly about your living room that you feel like you'd like to share? Um, I, I think my favorite, honestly, my favorite thing that was like a sweet find is that nativity pillow over there, which is why it sits over there and not on the sofa. So yeah. it's not like an actual, like we touch and toss around pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that is my favorite thing. And that was like a TJ Maxx home goods find. Wow. When I saw it, I was like, it so looks that. like some little yes. boutique somewhere. Yes, so yes, right? Cute. Yeah. So fun finds like that um, are worth it. Okay, so now we're in your kitchen, which I just can't get over your lights. I know that's, I well, think. we're talking about Christmas, but I'm yeah. still crazy about this. Yeah. These were, I said this before, I think in the last video, these were like a find that I saw. Um, they had to be ordered. And it was in like one of those parade homes yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. They had to be ordered. And they, uh, we started building, like got our plans. And it was eight months to wait for these to come in. They came in like two weeks before we had to like get everything done. But they were worth the wait. They're, they're worth everything. They're like the statement in the room. Okay, so. Let's talk about, you're pretty simple in here, but mm -hmm. 
Is this like your seasonal spot in your kitchen? Like, yeah. So in my kitchen, that's like what gets changed out for seasonal things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love the gingerbread. Her kids made the gingerbreads, y'all. Yes. Mm -hmm. The kids made gin the gingerbread houses. Um, don't look too closely. Some of them are like bitten off or broken off or like a massive amount of hot glue mixed in there. Um, but the kids made them and they did such a good job. Yeah. They're awesome. And then your wreaths on your, on your cabinet. Those are, okay, so I like little budget friendly things. So you'll see like the little detail things. I don't ever spend a lot of money on. They're always budget friendly because if you're going to change something out, keep your big decor that costs a lot of money. Yeah. But then buy like the little detail things yeah. that you can swap out and change things on so these are little Hobby Lobby wreaths I think I paid five bucks for each of them obviously this black and white ribbon I have throughout and then these bells I think they come in a pack of four or six in Hobby Lobby like next to the mini tree stuff yeah and I just took those and stuck it around the ribbon yeah. which you're also a collector of bottle brushes You've got yes lots, we have like a whole situation brushes. over there I do I just got these two last week in Franklin they're like my favorite so cute. new ones yep so those are really fun um, but yeah, little things like that all throughout. So those are the wreaths. Another little made gingerbread house over there. A little yeah. collection of things. If y'all watch my Instagram stories, and you'll see this peg rail right here, which I'm still not convinced it's going to work. Okay? Okay. So the peg rail, we didn't want to screw it into the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's tile and yeah. we're brand new and we didn't want to mess it up. And I'm probably not going to keep it forever, but we couldn't figure out how to get it to attach under there with like damaging cabinets or wall or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we have tried everything under the sun and finally I found this stuff called alien tape. Alien. What? Okay. I'm telling you, it's some, some new thing. <laughs> we it's need that. This tape and I put it on, I, f I had to finally like sand down all the glue and things that I had put on the back of that. Wow. And I put the alien tape. And so far, 24 hours, that has stayed up and not come crashing down. <laughs> well, I'm getting some alien. We're going to see how it works out. So, yeah. But then I can remove it, too, and it doesn't, like, destroy your wall or anything. We don't know, but we think it does. <laughs> it's, we'll see. We I mean, it sounds promising. I love this piece that you have in the st on the stove with I the nativity. That. Yep. What is that? That is a Hobby Lobby find. No. Yes. So, I mix in, like, Hobby Lobby stuff with like vintage things with found oh, things vintage. Mm -hmm. elevated mm -hmm. i feel like because it's paired with vintage things right it looks yeah. it's like you found it in a right antique right. mall mm -hmm. so uh, okay. yeah i love your signs that you do christmas signs here and there do you have signs there that you have throughout swap. the year and then you swap them out yeah or so uh-huh so most of my signs get swapped out everywhere okay so normally right there those two big vintage um brass platters that go there oh yeah um and so the command strips are still back there and they'll just stick back up there perfect that comes yeah down. Mm -hmm. yeah it. love mm -hmm. it santa over there he's a little vintage santa i found in an antique shop and so I just put a little like thumbtack. I stuck it into the side of the thing, and he has a little hook on him, and just hooked him. So okay, let me ask you your vintage. So, did you buy your vintage Christmas finds during the year? Like during it was it like summertime or all throughout the year? I find okay. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I bottle brush trees. I only ever find those at Christmas time. But like nutcrackers, um, the vintage Santa stuff, like that is our thing. Anytime we get in the car and we go somewhere, and when we pass antique stop stores, we will stop. like U-turn go. That's like one of the things he likes to do with me. Uh -huh. So he'll go, I saw a shop, like let's go in. Yeah. And we'll go in and like look through all of the things or whatever. Yeah. And so yeah. that's where I can find, when other people aren't looking for it, yeah. is when right. you can find really good things. Yeah, that's why I don't find it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking yeah. at it. Like at Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> but you also sometimes like sellers will save up like the really, really good stuff at Christmas time. Yeah. But you guys start looking in like October. Yeah. Right. And like go once a week. Okay. Well, that's why your house is so perfectly put together yeah. and over the top as far as I'm concerned and I need more Christmas. Aw. Yeah, we need more Christmas. Okay. Dining room now. Yes. So this is mom's favorite place in your house, yes. I think, because you don't have 
it's like you get the effect of the bifold, the doors that just yeah. go and go yeah. well, mm -hmm. which it's just French doors, which is probably more classic anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it's more functional too, because the kids go in and out of these doors all the time, whereas if it was the big, you know, bifolding door or whatever, mm -hmm. it would, that would be kind of hard for the kids yeah. to go in and out all of the time. Yeah. So it, I feel like it's fun, it's really functional for us. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and it gives me more decorating options. Yes. So I can like put stuff in between. Yeah. yeah. And of course the table because it's long like mm -hmm. mine and mm -hmm. you can fit all the family and I won't cry this time. I was she cried in our home. I was crying in our home too because the table, especially this year, it's just. So More meaningful. Special. Well, that's what I said. So my that was like actually my last post was talking about this table when I decorated it and like it should have had so many more functions, celebrations, yeah. all the things this year. Yeah. And it didn't. And nothing will make you realize that other than like sitting at a table that you're like, this table's been empty for a little bit too long. Yeah, too so, long. Yeah. Don't cry. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one thing that was popular when we toured your house mm -hmm. last time is the amount of deer heads you have in here. Yes, I, do you know, I still about once a week, somebody will stumble upon a picture of like one of our animal heads and they'll say something about You've said it in marriages. Yes, <laughs> because most wives are like, I can't decorate around that. And you've yeah. shown that yeah. you most definitely can. I tell myself this time of deer that the, that time, did I just say time of deer? Time of deer. <laughs> yeah, did, did. Time of year. That these are just reindeer. They're, they're just, just reindeer. reindeer. They're just part of the decor. They're just yeah. reindeer. Yeah. No, honestly, you've done, you prove that you can do it. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And I, I, got, I don't feel like I had like a whole lot of choice, so it was like, gotta figure it out. Yeah, I have one shot that I just took, and it has the two deers, and then that, your fireplace deer yes. is in the reflection. Yes, it has there. Larry in there. I Larry. Love Larry. Larry. Yes. yes. This is Larry. Yes. <laughs> We, we almost had a squabble over Larry when I came home and found the herd and yeah. Larry was front and center and it was like, this is one's going above the fireplace. And I was like, I had other plans for yeah. that, but okay. But now you love it. But now I love them. And yeah. I, I, wouldn't wouldn't take them out. I wouldn't put anything else in there. Mm -hmm. No. So, no. Or they'll stay there. Yeah. So, you're, um, you've just got a simple garland and then you've collected these trees, your yep. mercury trees. Yep. Some a little bit more expensive, some like Hobby Lobby. I would say the mercury glass, so I've always like loved, loved, loved mercury glass. And so I feel like it's just really timeless. Like it always yeah. works. And so collecting those things and spending a little bit of money on the heavier glass yeah. yes. will make it last yeah, a lot right. longer. So it'll never go out of style. Mm -hmm. And so having those things, especially this type of time of year when we right. kind of glam it up and yeah. sparkles. And right. yep. Yeah, well, I love it. I guess we can talk about, we don't probably have to move over to your master, but you do have other Christmas sprinkles yes. through the house, but yes. these are your main spots. What yeah, so this is the main spot. Our bedroom getting decorated for Christmas this year. That was the first time we have ever decorated our bedroom for Christmas because before we had little kids and our bedroom was like the catch-all of yeah. everything. Now my closet is that. Now I have a big enough closet that I can just shove it all in the closet yeah, and like go. leave the bedroom. So we had never done that before. I and I was beautiful. like, I want to do something in here. And that mantle in there couldn't go it's perfect. undecorated. No. Yeah, I do something. When I hung the bells up there, I was like, that's it. And yep. my husband was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I didn't even remember the mantle mm -hmm. before. I mean, I probably did if I would have looked back, yeah. but I felt like it was but different really things like make it stick out, you yes. know? And so decorating our bedroom was like a treat this year. Yeah. Because it was like, mm -hmm. okay, I've never decorated the space. We've never yeah. had like our space decorated like that before. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to have it done that way. And the green curtains might stay. They, oh, they need to so. stay. They're amazing. I really like them. I really yeah. like them. So. Well, and okay. that was amazing that they came from Ikea because oh, they're, they're Ikea so curtains. So long. The panels Black are out, so long. They look long. like velvet. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. He did get to accompany me on a really long IKEA trip. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. IKEA is never just like a I pop in. I thought we were just going to get curtains. No. And I was like, mm, but I feel like I need to look at a few more things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. There. It's always an experience. Yes. So you got to yes. get your meatballs. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Well, I love it. Well, I thank you. love every little detail. It feels new to me because mm -hmm. I mean I. It's been almost a year, I guess. Yeah, so, it has. Yeah. So, uh, 
It was such a treat. And so you have to make sure that you follow Amber on Instagram. We are going to tour more homes throughout the week. We're gonna actually release this on Monday. Fun. Yeah, okay. so Mon Amber's gonna be the first one this week and then we have one tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we're very excited. We hope that this inspires you even if you haven't put up Christmas because I personally have not yet. So Not at all? A little well, bit. there's sprinkles. Okay. I have not finished. I just so then I don't feel bad about no, that. No, well, we were saying this morning that everyone is every is, is behind. Every yeah. person in the tour is finishing this weekend. Yeah, yeah. so you're the brave one who so you're you first. Okay, so, so I like a deadline. Yeah, deadline like will make you yes. get yes. things done. The yeah. more time you have, the more time. It Maybe our done. deadline needs to be December twenty fourth this year for everyone. <laughs> last year, your deadline is Christmas Eve. So, so there you go. we hope there that you. this season is extra special for you. Again, make sure that you follow Amber, Mom, like, so. subscribe, and all your friends are going to want to see this. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and somewhere in the link, I'm going to link your everyday home because you got to check it out every day, too. You just get the full yeah. experience. Yes. So, have a great day, guys. Merry Bye. Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Duh.